But this is what I was talking about. Now you can kind of see what I'm talking what, what, what I'm talking about when I say I want the pool to be squared off. Now there's one other thing that I would love to keep in here. What's up, people? I'm Zog back on Clevercraft. And today we're gonna do something completely different than what we did last couple episodes. Couple? No, last episode we did the pond. Yeah. Let's go check the pond, actually. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna go around. I don't think anything's sold, actually. This is not a shop that's gonna sell anything very often. This is gonna be the, one of those one-offs. Oh, somebody just died, so they need a better bow. So they'll come and buy like three or four bows, combine them on their own, and then they'll be good to go. Oh man, I have a project. I need to really get some name tags or bam. Okay, good deal. Or I would feel like getting a horse today. You know, and then the fish probably won't sell. These guys, the puffer fish probably will sell, but the rest of the fish aren't going to sell. Um, it was just something to do, you know. I'm not expecting a whole lot of return on that one. But uh, maybe maybe the guardian farm if I decide to continue with that. And what? Wait, weren't you going to do? Yeah, I was. I was going to do that. I changed my mind, okay? There's something I've been trying to do in each series that I started. In that... Oh, it looks like people are continuing this. That's cool. I think they are. I don't think I did that many of them. I think somebody else did some. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've been trying to make sure my designs are based around some kind of a story, right? In, in order to do long-term design projects, which you guys love. You guys love the designy stuff. You love to see designs go up and did the different um, styles that people have and I have a very different style so I'm told so you guys like to see that stuff but in order to do that for the long term all the time you need to have a story involved you need to have some kind of lore to the build so one thing that I want to mention to you guys is that if you have any stories any any kind of anything that we can build around basically any, any kind of lore any kind of story that you have that you think it would be cool to see some kind of build you know, go up uh, around it. Let me know what it is. I have one that I'd like to use for the base. But it has nothing to do with an ocean monument. So we're, we're going to abandon that build. We're not going to do that anymore. Um, <laughs> instead of going this way, we're going to go this way. And if we go off in this direction, I think I need to go just slightly to the left as well. We're going to go down and to the left. And if we go far enough, we're going to run into... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold that thought. Um, maybe another one? Should be very, very soon. If we go far enough, we're going to run into a jungle! Yes! Here we go. So, I love jungles. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I absolutely love jungles, okay? Wow, that, wait, wait. This is a really... Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is really cool. Look at this. We have an upper lake that goes down. This I feel like this could be pretty good, although the ravine, I don't know about the ravine. I don't know if I like the ravine being right here. I'm not sure, but there are some sheep that spawn down there, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> Oh, dang it. I missed. I missed. I, I didn't... I need, to, I need to jump off a higher place or whatever. Now, in jungles, we also have something else we can possibly get, and that is a parrot. Now, we are on 1.2 pre-3 now, which means if we feed a parrot... So I heard. So I heard. I didn't actually try it, but if we feed a parrot... Uh, some cookies, they'll actually die now. Because in real life, if you feed a parrot any kind of chocolate, they will die. In real life. Don't do it in real life, okay? That's not the way to tame a parrot. <laughs> not that you're supposed to tame parrots in real... You just kind of put them in a cage and they're tame, I guess. But anyway. Yes, now it's seeds. Now it's seeds. We also have the wolf possibility. Or not the wolf, but the cat. Is that a wolf or is that a sheep? I think that's a sheep. It's not supposed to be a wolf. Wolves are not in the jungle. Cats are in the jungle. But what, uh, what, what, I don't know. I just love the jungle. So we're going to try to find a build. I'm going to try to find an area around here where we can do a little bit of work. Ooh, look at you, big lake thing. 
Okay, so I am in game mode three, just spectator mode. I'm just spectating out the area here. So we can basically do what we got to do. Um, <laughs> what is it we're doing, Zoke? It's uh, a good question. What are you? You gravel? Yeah, you're gravel. Okay, that looked weird. Anyway, so this is the area I've chosen. Um, and it doesn't look like much now, but I've always liked the idea of building around lakes and such, especially in jungle biomes. I love the jungle biome. I think I mentioned that already. So this is the area we're going to go with, and I'm not going to linger on that for too long. But I have already went ahead and set up a couple little things uh, down in here. Let's go back to game mode zero. And basically, this is what we have. We have the chest we have the bed we have the crafting table and we have this guy the portal which is already linked i've already linked it up so there's a path in the nether that leads all the way to this place but we're not going to mess with that what i wanted to do is actually describe to you a little bit about what i want to do while i'm breaking down some of these trees okay so one of the problems that i've had in the past is actually coming up with designs coming up with ideas of things to build which is not good it's not very good at all you, you always want to have the ideas it's okay if you don't know how to build those ideas, but the ideas are the important thing because you can always struggle through and try. And with the help of the community, you can figure out how to build something and the best way to do so, which I do rely on you guys for those inspirations as well uh, and those ideas on how to do things. But the big thing is just that you need the idea, okay? So that's ma the main reason why I switched away from the ocean monument and came over to here is because... I, I didn't have any ideas. I had nothing. Uh, and it came to my mind that I was having, I've been having trouble thinking of ideas of what to do. And I think it's because I want to get into the building side of things. I want to start building more. Now, I do like my redstone. I do like my farms and everything, as you guys probably know if you've watched me for any length of time. And we're definitely not going to abandon that, you know, at all. It's just building is another one of those things I want to get into. So hopefully I can reach all this because that kind of messed up a little bit there. I can't. How about we do this then? Nope. There we go. Nope. Be smart about it. How far up do we need to go? Okay, that might be it. Might be it. So um, in building, the, the best way to go about, you know, deciding what to build for long periods of time, like I want to do, I want to be a builder, right? I need to get better at it is that you have to come up with some kind of a story, some kind of lore. And I've talked about this before in previous episodes uh, where you know, I want to get into it and start basing builds around ideas and stories, which is the, it's the lore of the thing. I like the lore. It's something that uh, actually Iskal, oh, Iskal actually turned me on to. Now, that being said, the story or lore about this area is... That it's going to be like a resort. Like, I'm the owner of a resort, right? I'm the CEO and founder of this, I don't know, epic, high-priced kind of resort place that is testing its waters with jungle placement, right? Usually these resorts are on beaches and stuff, which is kind of what it is in here, but in the jungle it's really weird to, to have one in a jungle, right? But we're going to go with it anyway. Maybe I'm an idiot one. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dummy, Right? So I'm spending all this money that I've, I've gotten through trust funds and stuff trying to come up with something new. And I end up putting a, a high-end resort in a, in a rainforest, basically, or a jungle. But I, I like the jungle, which is why we're here and whatnot on a beach or something trying to do this. But I think we can turn that into a story and actually flesh out the details together. I think all of us can come together and actually add ideas to it, add things to it that, that will help me not only develop the story into something that could be pretty epic by the time we're done with this series, uh, but, ooh, or this season, but also it'll help me come up with things to build. Now, what I need are actually kind of ideas for how to go about incorporating the, I need to go down and sleep, uh, incorporating the farms and such that we want to put in. Like, how would you say a sugar farm, a sugar cane farm, how would you make that part of the story? How would you add that in? What could, how could you explain that away? And one of the ideas, it's, is it really not nighttime yet? I need to make, I need to get some gold. 
I need to go get my clock. So I know when to sleep, when it, how close it is. Aren't you close? Oh, I broke through. I didn't want to break through. But how would you, you know, go about adding in the sugarcane farm into the story? Or, or any kind of farm, a villager farm, for crying out loud. How would you do that? I mean, they could be the tourists. They could be the people that are coming here. Maybe I have a successful business and we can throw some villagers into some of the, the rooms and stuff. Um, which would be pretty cool and interesting little idea. Which we still might do. Maybe we'll do that. Who knows? Oh, that's right. Somebody's on. I think it's Lawrence Fish is on. <laughs> Lawrence Fish. So... That's kind of what I'm working for, uh, working towards here. And what I want to do is this, this lake is not going to be a lake. It's going to be like a decorative pond, maybe a swimming pool, maybe a, a, you know, a, one of those large scale swimming pools that you see at the, the resorts and stuff. And there's actually another one, I think, over off in that area that actually butts up right against a, a river, um, that I might try to do some pretty cool, interesting stuff with. That just came to mind, which I can't really describe too much without actually doing it. And we're not ready to do that yet. But what I wanted to do, for example, the pools and stuff are not oddly shaped like this. Well, they're odd, oddly shaped, but not like the corners. The corners aren't really like this, right? We're going to kind of embrace the square of Minecraft a little bit. And we're going to have something like this. Um, now, it's not going to be a perfectly squared off pool or anything, just the corners. So basically, let's see if I can go back into game mode 3 actually, uh, so I can show you what I'm talking about. This corner here will be, you know, a corner. It'll go straight up all the way across, and then over here it'll come over, and I'm going to probably chop all that out a little bit. Um, and it'll come over to about here, and then it's going to cut back in. And then the pool is going to go all the way over. And again, that little area will be chopped out and then it'll come straight back and then it'll probably go all the way straight across to match back up. And that way it's a squared off pool, but it's not a square pool. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. I need to finish chopping this tree down. I forgot about him. So that's kind of what I was looking for. Um, that's what I'm looking to do rather. And hopefully it turns out okay. Can I get up? Can I, can, can I climb, climb? Um, so I do need some of the story elements from you guys. I want to, I want to let you guys kind of use the series as, as a sounding board. Okay. Okay. I know game mode three again, game mode three. It's a thing, but this is what I was talking about. Now you can kind of see what I'm talking, what, what, what I'm talking about when I say I want the pool to be squared off. Now there's one other thing that I would love to keep in here. These trees right here are going to be removed and these well, the trees are going to be removed, but the island is going to stay, I think. And it's going to be centered, actually. It's going to be moved a little bit and centered. So I was going to do some of that now. But the thing is that I don't know what kind of blocks. I don't even have any blocks over here at the moment um, for, for what you know I want to build this place out of. I don't even know what I want to build this place out of. So I need a lot of help from you guys, okay? I need block choices, I need story elements, I need lore, I need everything, okay? <laughs> I might as well tell you to play my series for me because that's how much help I'm asking for, but it is what it is. Um, so that's kind of, you know, I don't know, maybe we'll use some jungle. Maybe jungle wood will make a, a, a big part of this because I do like the jungle. I definitely like the jungle. I don't know about the jungle logs, though. Um, obviously, just because of how I am and who I am, this this, ba this base, or if you can call it a base, this resort is going to be made a lot out of wood. Um, and I think wood makes for a good high-quality feel, uh, depending on the wood choices and everything. Obviously, we might want some quartz in here, too. I'm thinking quartz is probably going to have a pretty big role into this place, just because... I rarely build out of quartz and I like to mix it up a little bit. Can you break and then pillar more? Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so I think quartz is probably going to make an entrance. I need to see what quartz and uh, jungle actually looks like. Now, I don't want to do too much quartz. I might end up changing over into concrete just because it's really, really difficult to actually get a lot of quartz. Um, 
it's really, really hard to get a lot of quartz. So it's going to be iffy. It's going to be iffy for sure. Uh, I'm not too far away from the hub as, you know, my far base. So it, we, we could have some problems. We really could. But I wanted to go ahead and just start doing the teardown of the island. Basically, I don't want to tear it down completely. I just want to make it flat and kind of get the trees and stuff out of the way as well. I know, I'm breaking leaves with a shovel. Yell at me if you want to. But I think we should be okay. I want to keep this island here. But I tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to experiment a little bit with some of the color choices. This is what we're going to finish off today with. Um, I'm going to go get some blocks. I'm going to go get some... I already have the jungle, naturally. Boom, I have jungle. And then I'm going to get some quartz as well. And we're going to play with quartz and we're going to play with jungle to see what it looks like. I have an idea in mind for what I want this little island thing to look like. But we're going to see how well I can bring it together. And wow, is there a cave underneath this? It looks like there's a cave under here that I had no idea was here. What's down here? Anything good? Looks like it's nothing. Look, yeah, seriously. I think it's nothing. So I'm going to take the stuff I just cleared from up top and re lower it down so that way it fills the hole. We should have enough. I mean, that was a pretty big mountain I just cleared out, right? So it should be should be good. I'm going to save some of the dirt, actually. We're going to use the stone as much as I can. And then we'll use the dirt. That way the dirt I know is on top. No. There we go. Okay, so now we have the slabs that we're going to place around here. After these are placed, now they are slabs because, well, I'm trying to conserve all of the quartz that I have because it needs to be conserved. Did I not? I really did. I put away all of the jungle. Are you kidding me? Why would I do such a thing? I know that I needed some of it. Why would I put it away? It doesn't make much sense. I'll put, we'll put away all this stuff though. This stuff I'll even put away because I'm probably going to craft it in the slabs before I use it again. So I'll have to come back for a crafting table anyway. But what do I want to do is this is going to actually, um, yeah, yeah. You know what? We're going to do some of that as well. So give me some more of this. Man, I don't like using so much quartz right off the bat like this. It's not very good. I'm going to have to use concrete. I'm going, I'm going to have to switch. But for now, we're going to use this because concrete is a lot harder to craft at the moment. Uh, and I also need to get rid of that really, really big tree and that other smaller one. But for now, we're going to be okay. I'm going to do this. Okay, we're going to experiment with a look such as this. Get out of my way. What's wrong with you? Get out of my face. Stupid vines. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're doing. Uh, so yeah, I think these blocks might actually be converted over into concrete, white concrete. And I think it would look just as good, and I totally ran out. But that's okay, we can still kind of sort of get a feel for it, at least. And here is our jungle added. How does this look? And I also want to use like a naturey build, obviously because we're in, you know, such like a rainforest or whatever you want to call it. I am too short. Two slabs short. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. See, that looks really cool. And as soon as this grass decides to spread to more and this tree grows, I think it'll look really, really cool, actually. This would be a nice little centerpiece uh, for, for the build here. Go there. There we go. Should be perfect. Perfect. Oh, I ran out. I have enough. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is already looking good. This is this is the start. This is the start of our resort. It's going to be an island in the middle of the pool. And the pool is eventually going to have to be coated. The bottom is going to be coated. Uh, oh, look. Oh, it's a thing. I don't. All I have is cooked fish. I don't have any raw fish. I need to fish for some fish. We'll just go back to base and get some fish so we can have some cats running around. Um... That'd be cool. Ooh, like a cat daycare or something. A pet daycare. Get some wolves, some parrots, and some cats all in the same place. Hopefully the cats don't attack the birds, <laughs> but that'd be pretty cool. See, that's what I'm talking about. The lure of the area gives you projects. 
Okay, so well, that's what I need from you guys. Anyway, so getting back onto this guy right here, uh, what else can we add? I mean, we can go further with it. I love the quartz, but it's so expensive, and it's going to be ridiculously difficult to, to actually get. But I think we're going to go ahead and line the inside of this with the jungle. I mean, we have plenty, plenty of jungle to go around, and I want to see what it looks like with it going there. I do also have some gravel, so I can make some. I don't have any bone meal at the moment. We're going to have to make a mob farm pretty quick, I think. Because I'm going to need gunpowder for rockets. I'm tired of running out. We're also going to need a sugarcane farm. Those are probably the earliest things we're going to get into is a sugarcane farm, a mob farm, uh, just so we can get some rockets and get some things going so that way we don't have to worry about the flying thing. We can always fly on top of a tree and be good to go. I think I already had some jungle crafted into planks, didn't I? I don't remember. Don't worry. We're, we'll end up using them. And I also need to clear out a bunch of trees and stuff. That stuff is going to happen off camera. Uh, it's just kind of a thing. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of inspiration that I needed. I needed the story. I needed the lore of the place to start populating my brain with ideas of what to make. Because it's really hard sometimes when you don't have a clear, clear uh, theme. We needed a theme. That's the word I've probably been looking for all episode. A theme. Uh, when you don't have a theme, it's really hard to come up with things to, to build. I mean, you can build anything. It's not necessarily that you can't think of anything to build. It's that there's so many things in your brain that you could build, you can't place one. And then they all just seem out of place by the time, you know, if you were to just uh, throw it down in the world, it would look really, really kind of weird. So that's kind of a thing. I think I am going to go back to base... Uh, to, to Cleverton and actually make up some white concrete and place replace that other stuff over here the uh, the quartz because if we're gonna do if we're gonna switch it over we need to do it soon I think we still want to use some quartz because it's a good mix up it, it'll mix up the other white blocks really really nicely but it's it needs to be used sparingly very very sparingly I think it's just too much there's just gonna be too much going on in order for that to be a thing so I'm going to play with a little bit of those. And we're going to see where we're at. Ooh. And there we go. It's now now converted over into the concrete, which is very good. And the tree grew. And it's a nice little uniform tree. It's kind of perfect, actually, because that's about what a tree would look like if you actually cultivated it for the purpose of being a centerpiece of something. So now we have this little guy. It is getting dark, so I'm going to have to go sleep. But, yeah, it's doing pretty good. Now, the only real thing that I need to work on doing, just so we're prepped and ready for future episodes, is kind of terraform. I need to chop down a lot of trees. I need to chop out a lot of dirt and, and stone and all that other crazy stuff, which I'm going to end up doing off camera as we go. So we may or may not be over here in the next episode. We might be doing something else if things happen like I want them to happen will be somewhere else. But we'll talk about that when that time comes. In any case, we'll have to see where I am. Um, one of a few different things will be happening in the next episode, hopefully. We'll see. I'm hoping. Anyway, doesn't matter. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more. Is that a little... That is a villager zombie, isn't it? Sure is. Spread your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Do what you do, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps.